So the concepts behind routing. These are the things that we are going to see in chapter one. The initial configuration of router. Where we are going to learn how to connect to a router, what are the different means through which you can interact with the router. About the memories, processor, and so on. <clears throat> and then we are going to see how the routing decisions are made in a small network, in a medium sized network. Encapsulation, decapsulation process in both router and the switch where a packet has been forwarded and how the paths are determined, how the routes are determined. Yeah. Uh, at last, we will talk about <coughs> static route, dynamic route, directly connected route, etc. The second chapter, we'll talk about routing protocols. Right. See, we have different uh, perspection, different perspective towards the network, different pers different angle in which you can see network. When we say topology, some people say the physical side, the physical angle, the physical perspective of the network. But for some, it is topology side, uh, logical side. See, the physical side and the logical side will not be always same. I want to repeat again. What is topology? Topology is nothing but design. Now, when traffic goes, there are various types of traffic in the network. Some are web application traffic. What is web application traffic? Like browser, HTTP, HTTPS. Can I even say the port number of HTTP? What happened? I'm not able to hear from you. Can anyone say the port number of HTTP? If you are mute, please unmute and say the answer, if you know the answer. Venkat, is it TCP or UDP-80? Yeah, it's TCP-80. What would be the port number for uh, HTTPS? If TCP is 80, what would be the port number of HTTPS? Sorry, if HTTP is 80, what is the port number of HTTPS, Venkat? Mm -hmm. Correct, 443. TCP 443. Now, <clears throat> so not only web traffic, we have IP telephony today. Earlier days, the phone networks were separate internet networks were separate. But nowadays, there is no separate phone network. Those traffics are passed via internet. The phone traffic is converted into IP traffic. Earlier, the phone traffic was not IP traffic. They were analog. They were radio waves. Now, they're all converted and they're all now converted into IP traffic. Next, video conferencing. Interactive gaming, e-commerce, and much more things are there in the internet. All this depends on network. When you see network, 
the design physically like this let's say you have a design physically like this this is physical topology you you have three routers and uh, and how many wires four wires between these computers but logical topology is not going to be same as physical topology see physically you have two paths one way are the upper path like this the other one directly like this physical topology how many links are in one one two three four in the upper path in the below path three links are involved so according to physical topology this is the picture but according to logical topology this will not come why because the path is going to be this the selected path is going to be this that's what logical topology logical topology describes the path over which the data is transferred in the network sometimes if you see there are vpns when you have vpns even if you have 100 routers in the middle they are not shown as a hop only this router and this router will appear that's what vpn you may have many routers in the middle but they are all hidden because we put a tunnel between this that is what we call it as vpn so a logical topology shows only two router but the physical router shows some hundreds of routers so we need to understand this one also when we speak about topology <coughs> there are two types we need to first clarify that are we talking about physical topology or logical topology our venkat is already working in network environment uh, prem so he knows many things um there is something called vlan prem when we talk about vlan it's a logical path it won't talk about physical <clears throat> a logical topology if you have one switch with vlans we can create multiple switches in in one physical switch and they will all take different paths using trunk link don't worry about that we are going to learn it so logical topology physical topology both are not same next is a speed <coughs> the speed is measured in bits per second anyone knows the speed of fast ethernet if a port is fast ethernet what is the speed of that port venkat what is the speed of fast ethernet port 100 meg 100 meg per second mbps m b p s you see this is b this is per second that's how we measure bps bits per second but this is megabits per second more fast so that is how we measure the speed see we measure speed of a bike kilometer per second kilometer per second that's how we measure that's normal bike or bus we we measure like that 
<laughs> but in network, the speed of the data flow, the data rate, is measured bits per second. And then we also need to understand what is cost. What is the meaning of cost? In many places, later days, I'll be using a word called cost. What does that cost mean? In simple word, cost means how much money we spend to buy the equipments, the installation cost, maintenance cost. But later days when I say cost, it doesn't mean this cost. It won't mean this cost. Generally, when we say cost, uh, how much the, the equipment cost, the installation, the, man, the maintenance cost. But later, when we talk about the data rate, we'll say if I go via that path, cost is this. If I go via this path, cost is that. In that place, the cost is different from this cost. That cost is metric. This cost is the real cost. What is the cost in the RIP protocol? Isn't it? How do you measure best path in RIP? With what do you measure? What is the metric of RIP? Okay. Then RIP is hub count. Mm -hmm. Next to security. How do we protect our network from intruders? Who is intruder? Unauthorized person getting into our network is intruder. Unauthorized people. Intruders. See, in normal physical home, we put nice gate, door. Why? Because someone can enter. Even though CCTV camera is there, government is there, police is there, we still put some nice gate and door. Why? Intruders. Intruders. But networking, you, if you see, you cannot, you, can, you don't have a CCTV camera. The network is connected. If you are connecting your laptop, you are connected to the entire world. Not only from India, someone can enter into your house. Even someone from uh, Peru can enter into your house. Someone from Perth can enter into your house. Why I'm saying Peru and Perth, these are the places you might have not heard before. Even from there, people can enter into your house and you cannot see them also. They can be sitting right now inside your house, which we cannot see because the internet is connecting all over the world, across the entire world. So, you see how much protection you need to give for a simple house. Why I'm saying simple house? Your house is not known to anyone except your relatives and friends and the street member. For that our house itself, you put CCTV camera, you put gate. Uh, sometimes some people put securities for the house, 24 uh, by 7, security will be there in the gate. Uh, how much more important is to put security for your laptop, your network, your home network? Very important. But do we have real security? Have you put security for your 
network maybe may not be also you might have you might have put some antivirus that's a security or you might have even bought some firewall devices that's a security see network need to be protected because it is connecting the entire world so there is a cost involved in security also so we we need to buy some equipment that can protect your network protect your network like palo alto firewall cisco as firewall firepower our mm -hmm. um, 14 like that so not only your network needs security your network also need to be available whenever it is needed network need to be available whenever it is needed <laughs> sometime you know what we people will do to protect the network they will block everyone even the owner of that network cannot come in sometime is too much of security <coughs> that network that mean what he will do he will block everything if someone will call me and ask me then i will open the port he'll block everything that's not real security real security is you should only deny intruders not the owner so if you if you deny the owner if you deny a authorized person then there is no availability correct there is no availability availability is it needs to be available for the for the correct people for the for the owners for the what to say for the genuine users the security is your network should not be available for intruders that is security so we need to have proper security we need to have proper availability scalability what is scalability whenever you you grow in your network whenever your your office grows whenever your business grows your network also need to accommodate the growth your network should not ask you to redesign from the beginning that is scalability your network should be flexible to accommodate your business growth when your business grows what you will do you will hire more people in your office more people more data more work without redesigning from zero level your network should be able to expand that we call the scalability needs to be scalable <clears throat> then your network need to be reliable what is reliable it should be able to be trusted one reliable one trustable one how even if one link goes down you know <clears throat> there should be another backup link without getting dropped your your packet needs to be forwarded <clears throat> even if one router goes down without any interruption the packet should still flow through another router another switch all right that's what we call it as 
reliability. Okay, reliable network. Redundant network. Redundant means what? Alternate. You got alternate paths. That's redundant. All right. But when the path goes down, packet needs to be switched to another path. So there will be small time to do that. During that switching time, there will be some, some packet missing because you are switching from one path to another path. Some packets may time out. We call that as MTBF, mean time between failures, that period of time where the packet is getting lost. Why it is getting lost? Because the packet needs to go from the broken path to a, another good path. So that needs to be very sm small. That time, that mean time between failure, MTB needs to be very thin, small. Then it is a reliable network. Right? Now, what is routing? Routing is moving packet from one network to another. Please understand. Switching is moving packet using MAC address within the same network. Routing is moving packet from one network to another network using IP address. Is it correct, Prem? Yeah. Routing is moving packet from one network to another network where routers will use the destination IP address to decide on the path. We don't call that as switching, we call it as routing. For example, the packet that is going from the central office to the branch office, A talking to B, is routing. But A talking to K is switching. Packet goes like this, locally switched. Only MAC address is involved if they're all if they're all in same network, then there is no need for routing. So this is one LAN, local area network. You see this color. This is one LAN. This is another LAN. This is another LAN. Central office, one LAN. Branch office, another LAN. Home office is another LAN. Connecting between home office, branch office, and central office is through a cloud. Cloud is nothing but the internet. So when you when you move your packet from one LAN to another LAN, we need a router and we call it as routing. This is why we need routing to move packets from one LAN to another local area network. LAN means what? Local area network. To move traffic from one LAN to another LAN is called routing. What do we call that routing as? WAN communication. Wide area network communication. I repeat, moving traffic within a LAN is switching. Because you have only layer 2 device switches. That is LAN switching. Moving traffic from one network or one LAN to another LAN, there are routers involved. We call it as WAN network. And we to do WAN network, you need routing. For WAN, routing is needed. For LAN, switching is done. Routing in van, switching in land. 
traffic goes from A to B using switching. Locally switched within the LAN. So routing, why do we need routing? To move from one LAN to another. Between the networks. By using the routing table, routers got routing table. Using the routing table, the path to forward the packet is determined. When packet comes, in the packet there will be destination IP address, right? The routing table will have the destination path for the packet that comes in according to the path the packets are moved. Routers are the one that can connect from one network to another. Routers are the one that can move packets from one network to another. Routers maintain routing table where the best paths are installed. What do we see in the routing table for all destinations, remote destinations? The best path via which router it needs to go. Let me show you the routing table first. You see? This is the routing. If packet needs to go from this one network, this is 192.168.1, this is 192.168.2, this is 192.168.3, 3 dot 3. 3 different network. And this is the routing table, you see, show IP route. It shows statically there is a route written. In order to go to 192.168.3 network, the packet needs to go to 192.162.1. So this router needs to send the packet to this router. And this router will forward the packet to the computer. The packet comes from here. This A wants to talk to B. B is in three network. A is in one network. When the packet arrives, the router will check the routing table. I need to go to 3. If I need to go to 3, I need to go to 2.2. .2. Who is 2.2? .2? This guy is 2. Dot, this is 2. This is 1. So packet goes from here to here. And this router will check the routing table. And it knows 3 is connected here, so it will deliver here. This is what routing means. And this is the routing table. Routing table maintains the best path inside the router. Using the best path, the packets will be forwarded. So I'm going back to the page. Yeah. In OSI, reference model that we learned, layer 3, the network layer, is the place where the routers operate. Routers are interested in IP address, isn't it? Using the IP address, they they decide the destination, not based on the MAC address. Using the IP address, the destination IP address, the routers will decide the path, the direction. For example, if this is in 11.1.1.1, and if this is 77.7.7.7, .7 .7 .7, and this one is 22.2.2.2, let's say from here, I'm saying ping, 22.2.2.2. The packet comes to the cloud. 
the source IP address is from where the from where the packet is coming. Twin, uh, uh, from where the packet is coming. Eleven. That is source. Eleven dot one dot one dot. To where the packet needs to go. Twenty two dot two dot two dot. Now the cloud will check. In the cloud, there are many routers. All the routers will check the destination IP address. In the routing table for 22, it shows this direction. So the packet will not go in this direction. It will not go in the branch office direction. It will only go upward towards the home office because that is where the destination is. This is what we call it as routing. So it is the routing table in the router that determines the best path to reach <coughs> destinations. Okay. You see, when we talk about router, so a router is also like a computer only. See, computer is not the one which you use uh, to to send the mail. That is not the only computer. Even a calculator that you use calculator in schools, people, children use calculator. Tenth standard people, twelfth standard people they use calculator. Even that calculator is also a computer only. Very easy. The word computer means what? Computing device. Any calculation, it's a computer. <clears throat> Anything that calculates is a computer. What does router calculates? We just saw. What does the router calculates? The effective path. The best path. So it's a computer. What does switch, uh, switch calculates? Again, the best path using MAC address. What does the firewall calculates? A secured path, protected path. All our computers. This devices that we are talking about, router, switches, firewall, they also have motherboard. Same like normal computer that you have desktop or laptop. Same like that. But outlets also have got the CPU, the operating system. See, you are using Windows operating system. But we cannot expect same Windows in the router. Why? The purpose is different. See, can you send mail from your cell phone? Yes. But the operating system in your cell phone is not the same that is there in the laptop. Why? You see, here also you can use uh, a cell phone to send mail. In laptop also you can send a mail. Here also I have Chrome. Well, in cell phone I have Chrome, Google Chrome. In laptop also you have Google Chrome. But why the operating system is not same? This also got CPU, your cell phone, motherboard, RAM, ROM. Your laptop also got CPU, RAM, ROM, motherboard. But that operating system will not fit into this. This will not fit into that because the architecture is different. Technology is not same. This uses a SIM card. This uses uh, uh, radio waves. <coughs> So operating system cannot be seen. Likewise, don't expect a Windows operating system on a router. See, in Cisco, 
the router run a special operating system called iOS, Cisco's Internet Operating System, iOS. Internet operating, this iOS is different from Apple phone iOS. That is small iOS, Apple phone, this is iOS. And routers also have got RAM, ROM, NVRAM, flash card, HDD, flash card is SDD. Now tell me what is the difference between ROM, RAM, NVRAM? Any any idea? What happened? Why you are very silent? RAM is a volatile one. What is volatile? See, as long as the power is there, it will be there. Once the power goes, it will vanish. That is RAM. For example, you are doing some configuration. These configurations are temporarily retained and shown to you from the RAM. But when you power off, all the configuration that you did is based because you have not saved it to NVRAM or you have not saved it to any other hard disk or flash card. So RAM is only temporary. Whatever that you configure, it will be there as long as the power is there. Once the power goes down, whatever that was there inside the RAM will vanish, will disappear. So opposite is non-volatile RAM. Whatever you put inside this NVRAM will stay. Even af after you switch off the router, it will stay. You can, you can see the data next day. So, when you do configuration without saving, it will be here. Before you switch off your router, you need to push it to this location, to this storage called NVRAM. You need to save. When you save where it will go, it will go from RAM to NVRAM. RAM is volatile. NVRAM is non-volatile. What is the RAM? Random access memory. Random access memory is volatile. NVRAM is non-volatile random access memory. See, there is also something called ROM. Read-only memory. This read-only memory is a program saved location. It's a, it's a location where the program for the motherboard only. I'm not talking about operating system. There's a small operating system to control only the motherboard. We call it as ROM, even in your laptop, when you don't have Windows, you need this uh, program to install the lab to install the operating system inside your laptop. You need this particular uh, software. That piece of software is stored in Rome. Only with the piece of software, you will be able to locate the hard disk. You will be able to locate the pen drive from where the operating system need to be copied. The basic mini operating system 
by the manufacturer is kept inside a row. Read only memory, meaning you cannot erase it. Read only memory. That, that's not too big size location. It is just for that mini operating system. Like it will bring only a command prompt, a command prompt. No windows, nothing. Anyway, that's a machine controlling program. So, if there is a question here, which one needs power to retain content? RAM or ROM or NVRAM? Which one? Which one needs power to retain the content? No, no, listen to the question. Only RAM needs power to maintain to maintain the content. If the power is off, it cannot retain. It cannot retain. It will go. But ROM and NVRAM is not like that. ROM, NVRAM, hard disk, they don't need power. They can, re they can keep it. They can store. They can retain. Tomorrow when you come, you can easily uh, see what is there in NVRAM. What is there in flash and hard drive. Minsaram Mille and Dralum, Tagavalai, Padugatu, Ekam Mudiona, Adapel, non volatile. These are all non volatile. This is the only volatile woman memory, only volatile memory is RAM. This needs power to retain the content. See, apart from these memory locations, operating system, motherboard, CPU, routers also got some specific ports like console port, USB port, and also network interface card. Now, this is the place where we connect our devices, network card. You see? I'll show you here it is. You see, this is a console port. This is just to interact with the router. Only to configure router, we'll use this port. Whereas this LAN, port, LAN interfaces are for the data to pass through the router, for the data. We connect our switches, computers to this port and this port. And you got a USB port where you can you can plug and uh, copy the operating system if you want. If you want to take a copy of operating system from the router to your hard disk into your laptop, uh, you can use a pen drive, copy from the router to the pen drive, and from the pen drive to your laptop. All right. We also got flashcards. What is flashcard? You see. <coughs> Hard drive and flash card. Hard drive and flash card. In my laptop, I have both. Flash card or flash drive or it can also be called as SDD, storage disk drive. This hard drive is called as HDD. See, you might have seen hard disk. What is the weight of a hard disk? If you take the computer's hard disk, it will be at least uh, 250 gram. If you take laptop's hard disk, it will be at least 50 gram. 50 gram to 100 gram. No, not 50 gram, sorry. 150 gram it will come. This is 150 gram. Whereas SDD, 
will be less than 25 gram. But same capacity. I can have one TB hard disk, uh, sorry, SDD, only 25 gram weight. Same one, one TB capacity, your laptop, 150 gram. There will be there will be difference, yes. And you see the hard disk is heavy. So if someone wants a thin laptop, they will not go with HDD. They will go with SDD. So laptop will be thin. The weight of the laptop will be less. And <clears throat> this is just one plastic uh, silicon plate. Whereas this one will have a metal box. Inside there will be disc, like CD disc. There will be a motor to, uh, to run the disc. And then after some days, the motor will become weak and then hard disk will stop functioning. But here, there is no motor, nothing. It's just a chip. So this is long supporting, durable, reliable storage. This one is cheaper, but unreliable. Not for a long run. So what I have done in my laptop, I have SDD for uh, operating systems and daily using software, no? I have kept SDD. For uh, rarely using softwares and programs and datas, I have HDD. I have both. This one of uh, 200 GB, sorry, I think 150, 125 GB maybe, shows only 118. This is SDD, flash card. Very thin, lightweight, like one small board. And this one is a normal hard disk, laptop hard disk. Two. See, the operating system is kept here. That's why it shows that Windows picture. Because daily my laptop, right now, operating system is in use, no? So I put it here in SDD. Now, why I'm saying this one? Cisco, they, they, they don't use hard drive. They don't use hard drive. Why? Hard drive can go bad anytime, anytime. If it is uh, experiencing a lot of shaking, it will get spoiled. But flash card is not like that. So Cisco uses flash card to put the operating system. Operating system is kept inside the flash, not in the hard disk. Cisco is not using flash, sorry, hard disk. Why? Two reasons. One, it is heavy. Another reason, it is vulnerable. See, after buying one router from America, spending uh, two lakh rupee, in one month's time, if it goes bad, then uh, the, the reputation of Cisco will go bad. So they thought, okay, we'll give flash cut so that just because of one uh, storage, our name should not get spoiled. So they put flash cut. Right. So we'll talk about 